So now that we fix all the ugly scenes on Sano, now we can start playing with our texture, adding some nice colors on it, or I thought about making a kind of uh, a tattoo on the on Sano, why not? Uh, for that I just googled for some image as a reference, then I made it in Blender and made some little tricks on it, so and it's also available on the on the DVD as well. So I don't need that layer. I just I I want to start all over again from zero. So make a new UV. Name it properly as always. And I want to apply the this um, this tattoo on his forehead there. So I will select this. Uh, this very there. I'm wrapped and then pick up the image. Uh Sano Baras tattoo, I think. Yeah. Then it's just a matter of tweaking when you're happy with the position of our of our tattoo there. right there. So what we are going to do now is use this black and white image as an stencil map so we can paint on the white parts and uh, with the color we want. So for that we should go to the texture paint mode like we did for cloning on the on the other tutorial. Oh it's in GLSL so let's change to texture phase there. So we don't want to use clone now actually, we want to just paint over with our image as a stencil. So we change from clone to draw and we enable stencil lay layer actually, that little button over there. And as before we, we need to tell Blender, okay use this layer and we do that by clicking on the little brush icon on, the, uh, on our UV layer. And I think it's using the inverted color, so just press INV next to a stencil layer button, pick up a color and then just paint. No matter the view where you are, just you can just move around, go there, get really close, paint, only clone some parts, only paint some parts as well. And that's it. Yeah, okay, a bit ugly, the, the image is also uh, low resolution, if you zoom in too much, yeah, so, and it was also too dark, so, luckily you can change the opacity of this brush, and the mix mode, the, the way it blends with the, with the original texture, either as a multiply, or, or mix, or add, subtract. So you just paint over in whatever mode you think it will mix better with the texture below. And that's it, that's how it, it blends better with the, the original texture. As you can see it's already in our final image going to repeat the process so you can see it again but now on the lower part of the mm, below his eyes you can use whatever projection you want it doesn't have to be unwrapped I just used the uh, project from view for this tattoo Uh, I think it's better backward the other way. Yeah. Just invert it. Uh, that's better because it makes it gives uh, a nice flow. 
pointing to the to the eyes better for the for the expression of this character so just paint over and that's it you don't have to take care of seams or weird projections or weird positions or whatever that's so cool so I thought about also cloning because now we are painting with a black and white image as an stencil map so I thought okay let's try to clone something and paint color on it I'm going to just remove that one that blender that render the layer there so I just make a new name for it and wrap this and I thought of Sano being a kind of fan <laughs> or he really loves Fraka so I thought about giving him a, a little tattoo there really old render he's from 2005 or so jeez so now Sano is getting a little Fraka tattoo there we go back and change it uh, instead of stencil we wanted just to clone there we disable a stencil layer we just paint over oh I think it's in multiply yeah change it to mix there opacity in one so that's how you can clone other images as well doesn't have to be the same but I want to clone actually only the on the borders I don't want to clone all this background there so I prepare this image to use an stencil map as an stencil map so now we have this black and white image used as an stencil map the other one in the middle is going to be used as a color map to clone from and the first one is going to be our texture our final texture where everything is going to happen so now you just enable everything like clone layer and stencil layer and this is how it looks using the black and white colors from the, the the image on the image editor right there which is a really crappy one as you can see really blurry so that's why on the on the tattoo fraca looks a little bit blurry as well you got a nice tattoo Sano and uh, let's, okay let's clean up this a little bit we can just remove the other UV texture layers because we don't need them they are already on our final texture which we should save just in case and that's it let's see how it renders f12 and uh, that's Sano he got a really badass tattoo now so let's see if you like it Bye.